expand the logarithmic expression. Uh, when you do this, you will want to uh, make sure that you identify each base. So I've got a 3 in this first log here and an x in this first log here. Those are two different bases. So since these two bases are being multiplied, I can expand them into this log into two different logs with the base showing up in each log. So this will be the natural log of 3 and a natural log of x. And because these two bases are being multiplied, I can, I have to add these logs together. Uh, and that is the answer for the first one. The second example here, the natural log of 1 over e squared, I can separate this out into two separate logs. I have a base 1 in the numerator and a base e squared, or a base e in the denominator. Uh, so I can go ahead and expand that out to be uh, the natural log of 1 and the natural log of e squared. Uh, and since there is the quotient of these two, whatever bases are in the numerator will get a positive log. I don't need to change that. That's already positive. Uh, but the base in the denominator, this base e, this e squared expression, will be negative. Uh, by the quotient rule for logs. Uh, and one of the properties is the natural log of 1 is 0. Uh, so I know that this will be 0. And another property is natural log of e to any power will just be equal to that power. So this will be minus 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So there's your answer for the second one. So we expanded this into two logs but you need to be aware of any simplifications that could possibly happen when you are expanding. Uh, with this last one, the log of the cube root of all this stuff, uh, the first thing I want to do is rewrite this natural log uh, so that it has a one-third power. So I'll have e to the fifth power x squared over x minus 1 all to the one-third power and my first move before I can even expand anything is that I have to move this exponent uh, to the front of the log and it'll look something like this. So that one-third power got moved to the front. Um, then now that the exponent is gone we can use the other properties uh, to expand this log out into three separate logs. And I say three separate logs because there's a base e in the numerator, there's a base x in the numerator, and there's a base x minus 1 in the denominator. So I'm going to expand out this log, and I'm going to forget about the one-third just for a moment and expand this out. So each base here, e, x, and x minus 1, have its own log. Now, since e, the base e, and the base x are in the numerator, both of these logs will be positive. And since the x minus 1 base is in the denominator, the log that contains it will be negative. So I was able to expand out this log into three separate logs, and since this one-third is being multiplied to this log, it would also be multiplied to the expansion of that log. Uh, so now, what I want to do, even before we distribute this one-third, I want to move these exponents on the e and the x to the front. Um, as a matter of fact, this e to the fifth power Remember what we set up here in example two, the natural log of e to any power is just that power. So the natural log of e to the fifth power is just five. So I'm gonna rewrite this with a five in place of this natural log and bring this two to the front. And that'll look something like this. And from here, the last step is to just distribute the one-third 
uh, to each term on the inside, and that'll give you uh, 5 thirds plus 2 thirds natural log x minus 1 third natural log x minus 1. And there's the expansion of the uh, final example that we started out with up here.